Welcome to Cheese Med Time. Cheese Med Time. <laughs> I can't do it. I can't. All right. You got to do it. I okay. can't. What's up, guys? My name is James Carranza, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. And if you're new here, wish poppin'. Subscribe. What he said. This week, we're going to be doing Cheese Med Time, but obviously, I'm not alone. I'm with the baddest, mm. the flyest, the big my other half, little Ale! <laughs> Woo -woo! That's me. Welcome to Cheesema Time. Cheesema Time is where we basically get topics and we just try to give our best advice while doing it at the same time, giving out some cheesema. Yeah, it's basically Cheesema Time. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's really easy. We just give advice and just yeah. talk about drama that mm -hmm. happens in our life. Pretty much. So enjoy. Like <laughs> right. <laughs> enjoy. <laughs> All right, so for today's topic of cheese time, we're gonna be talking about relationships. Mm -hmm. We kind of jumped into our first relationship around the same time. You're in your new relationship. How's mm -hmm. that going? Way better than the last, let me tell you that. Right, the other one. Trash. Good riddance. Said the n-word way too many times. And that's the tea. So on the Netflix show, You, uh, Guinevere falls in love for this one guy, right? But her best friend, Peach, does not approve. Unfortunately, it doesn't end well for anybody on the show. So our first question is, what do you do if your best friend does not like your boyfriend or girlfriend? I'll let you uh, take it away for this one. That's kind of hard, but it's not. I guess I just wouldn't hang out like all together. But I mean, like, if your best friend, like, really, like, like, you know, loves you, mm -hmm. like, regardless if they like your boyfriend or girlfriend or not, like, they'll still, like, you know, kind of suck it up and be there for you and all that. That's what I did. Did not like her ex-boyfriend at all. Oh, yeah. Didn't we double date to not? Okay. I liked him after... Okay. <laughs> so, here... Okay. Hmm. I liked him after... No, I... Mm. Okay. I like heard him. things about him. I heard things about him, right? Before he started working, and I'm just like, I'm not gonna date him. I'm not gonna date him. Oh, <laughs> all right. Plot twist. <laughs> His first week on a job, Alejandro's here texting him. Whatever. Anyways. It wasn't the first week. It was like the second week. But anyway. regardless, <laughs> what happened to? I'm not gonna take him. Whatever. Blah blah blah. So I heard things about him. I was like, all right, whatever. You Who know. didn't hear things about him? Right. It's a real thing. And then they started talking, and then we went on a double date. And not gonna lie, he won me over. He was laughing at all my jokes. But I mean, like, how can he not? Except like when his card declined. <laughs> <laughs> hey, grab my water real quick. Shit. Mm. No, he actually had money, but his bank was playing games. Anyways. So he did win me over that time. But then it was the aftermath. That's when things got real shady. I was hearing stuff. And obviously it did not work out. What happened like a week after there, you guys broke up? Oh yeah, he got back with this... Um, with his ex? Yeah. Well, they were never really together, according to my knowledge. Well, but she had a thing for him. Well, regardless. But regardless, yeah. Things were pretty shady with him and someone he else. said, nothing ever happened between us. You don't gotta worry. Week right after, first person he goes to. So... Like, you would just still date the person but not be all together? Like, yeah, like, I just probably wouldn't hang out all together, like, as much as I would like to. Mm -hmm. Um, but, like I said, like, if your best friend, like, loves you enough, like, they'll suck it and be like, no, it's okay, like, I agree. bring them, you know. Like, I know, what I would do is, I'd be like, alright, like, I support, like, I always told you, like, I'll support you whatever you do, right? But I'll keep my eye on them from a distance. And I think that's as a best friend, that's what you should do. Because obviously you want your friend, your best friend to be happy, right? And mm -hmm. this person that you don't like makes them happy. You have to sacrifice your own, not insecurities, but your own little, like, problems for your best friend. Yeah. So, suck it up. <clears throat> All right. Next question. Next question. How soon after a breakup do you jump into another relationship? Well, in my experience... How long did you take? I think it was like a month. Okay. Was it? Like... Like, officially, like, I was in a relationship. Yeah, it was like, I think, a month. Okay, well then, how later. soon after a breakup do you start, like, but, talking? I mean, it's kind of hard for me to say because 
my ex was my first actual relationship, like, ever. Mm -hmm. So I can't really tell somebody, like, how long you should wait, necessarily. But it's just, like, I already knew that he wasn't good for me and, like, I shouldn't have to deal with all that. And, you know, like, he just wasn't it for me. Mm -hmm. So, like, I didn't really, like, cry about him, I guess. Yeah. Like, I didn't really, like... But you weren't like, I mean, you were heartbroken, yeah, like, but like, but you weren't like devastated. Like, yeah, so I was just kind of like, I know that's not what I need, and I know that's not what's good for me. Yeah. So it was easy for me to move on because I'm like, okay, now I know what's not like for right. me. So I know what to look for next. Yeah, and I feel like, I feel like you should, like, I guess you can jump into another relationship. Obviously, when you're ready after a breakup, you know, but like for me personally, like the idea of jumping into another relationship after my last one mm -hmm. I was like I can't even rush into that because I need to give the other person so why are you nothing I did not jump who said you jumped into I don't know what's up with your face I just feel like you had to give the other person you know the person who you dumped or like whatever I feel like you had to give that person as well some grieving time before they see you in well, another relationship. My ex had no grieving time at all. Next question. <laughs> Can you be friends with your ex? Me personally, no. All right, I always thought, okay. So in high school, I think we can all agree Isaac was a total man whore, right? Yeah. And I always thought like Isaac, like it's not that hard. Like you can be cordial with your your ex, but he like you know like he would go the other way around on campus to like avoid them. He'd like block them, you know. And I was like, oh, I can never do that, you know. But when it happened, I was like, oh shit, like I get it now, mm -hmm. because you know obviously like when I when we ended my last relationship, like we said that we will still be friends, you know. Same here. Clear that wasn't the case because literally like I think a couple weeks later I went to the movies and like I saw her there and the first thing I did was like I jumped back and I hid behind Sam. I didn't mean to do it. It was just like my first reaction I just did was just hide. I don't know why like and I felt really bad too mm -hmm. but I don't know and then like a few weeks later after that I did talk to her like I did say hi and I offered her some candy. Mm -hmm. So I think it just takes time, but like, like her birthday, I think is tomorrow. It's the 16th or 19th. Do I see happy birthday? I don't know. Would you tell your ex happy birthday? Nope. Well, you guys ended bad. Oh yeah. Nothing ever happened between us. You don't gotta worry. Week right after, first person he goes to. When we actually broke up, like, it was mutual. Like, I told him, like, you know what? Like, we Okay, but talk, after that, everything. all the shady stuff after you that, found out. After that, when he did all that shady stuff, yeah, I was looking kind of pressed. And I was like, what the fuck? Like, I'm not talking to you no more. But so like, it ended bad? No, because when it actually ended. The relationship it, ended good. But, but the relationship as a friend. Ended bad. Yeah. There you go. If that makes sense. But I mean, like, if you guys end on good terms, I don't see why not. But maybe we're just too childish to yeah. be friends. So our last question mm -hmm. is, can you date your best friend's ex? No, I could never no? do that. Okay. I would never do that, especially if it's someone that I knew they deeply cared about like that. Like. Okay, but what if they didn't though? Okay, but like clearly they did at some point because they like dated them. I don't know. I, I don't know. Those are cool. Yeah. So we have a Colin. We are talking on the phone with Isabella. Isabella, say hi to the camera. Hello, hello. <laughs> All right, so we have a question for you, okay? okay? On this episode, we are talking about relationships, okay? And one of the questions are, could you date your best friend's ex? Would I date my best friend's ex? Yeah. No. Why? Like, why do you think, like, people shouldn't do that? Um. Because that's your best friend's ex. He broke her heart, his or her heart. I don't know. I mean, we know like the stories about why they broke up. Mm -hmm. so why would you want to be with someone yeah. that did that? Facts. All right. Yeah. Also, one more question. Okay. What would you do huh? if your best friend did not like your boyfriend or girlfriend? Like, what should a person do that in that situation? 
what should they do if like if Alejandro didn't like my boyfriend? Yeah, just or just in general. Um. Well, it's not your boyfriend, so it doesn't matter. Oh. <laughs> Basically, my friend. <laughs> separate at all times so if you had advice for a person who was in that situation what would you tell that person maybe for them to hang out so you can try to make them see what you see okay yeah got it and if they don't see what you see and they become bird box and they're like blind to everything um, <laughs> then that's okay then they have to hang out oh okay <laughs> yeah alright thank you so much we appreciate you Peace out. Alright, bye. So guys, that kind of concludes this week's episode of Cheese Time. Uh, we hope that this advice helps you out if we even did give advice. We yeah. just kind of talked about ourselves. Our, our advice is based on like one relationship. <laughs> so for those of you who've only been in one relationship. There you go. So yeah, so let us know any more topics you want us to cover and we'll definitely talk about them and try to help people out as best as we can because I feel like we are very helpful people. We're very blunt. Very. Sometimes a bit too much. Like you'll get annoyed and be like, what the f- this bitch just say? Like you're kind of be like, wow, Alejandra's a real bitch. And it's like, no. And I'll be like, yeah, and what about it? <sighs> Stop. <laughs> Alright guys, so that was this week's video. If you guys enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up and let us know in the comments down below any other topics or if this was helpful or what do you think of our advice. And subscribe for new videos every Sunday because that's when I upload them and I'll see you guys next week with a whole new video. Bye bye